So I guess you could say I've been playing Avatar Frontiers of Pandora for about 13 hours, maybe 14, 15 hours, give or take. I think by the time I finish making this video, it'll be about 16 hours. And 16 hours into this game, I gotta say, I'm very surprised that I actually happen to like it. And on this short video, I'm gonna try to explain why I like it. It's not just because of the graphics, and they really look great, especially on the Xbox Series X version with Dolby Vision on this OLED TV. But what I really like about this game is a gameplay. You know, people forget that. The most important part about the video games is the gameplay. Sure, the graphics are important if you can make them look great, but not a mandatory, in my opinion. What's mandatory is gameplay. And Avatar Frontiers of Pandora has a little bit of everything that Ubisoft has delivered to us in the past two and a half decades, right? When you look at uh, Far Cry 3, Far Cry 2, Far Cry 1, Far Cry 4, Five, six. when you look at the uh, Tom Clancy games, when you look at their Assassin's Creed games, when, when you look at their um, Division games and all of their games in the past that they use these formulas to implicate open sandbox world where you can loot, craft, do all of these things that you normally do in all these other Ubisoft games. It borrows a little bit of that, but in a just right amount, not in the amount where it's like identical copy and paste replica. This is a avatar game. It feels like an avatar. It looks like an avatar. And it should feel and look like an avatar because you got 20th Century Studios, also known as 20th Century Fox, which is now bought by Disney. You have uh, Lightstorm Entertainment, which is a Jim Cameron, James Cameron uh, studio. Uh, Jim Cameron made a video where he specifically said that the Lightstorm Entertainment worked very closely with massive studios to bring... Uh, all the details that they have done in the movies and that they're still filming in the movies and they're work, working very closely with Massive Studio which is Ubisoft Studio um, so yes the graphics are nice they look great Dolby Vision looks fantastic me and my friend Brendan uh, we played it last night and it was great he has a C1 I have a C, uh, C2 this is my E8 from 2018, and it still works. No burning, no retention on the screen, because I know how to take care of my televisions, uh, which I have made numerous videos to show you how to do that. Those videos are still out there. You just have to go to 2017, 2016, 2018, 2019, and you'll find those videos. Um, so... Getting back to uh, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Uh, I love these side quests, these south side quest, uh, quests that you have. Uh, and these side quests are really cool and they, they tie in into these characters and you learn more about these characters. Like this character, Danny, that I'm helping right now um, with her love relationship or whatever the case might be, right? It's... It's not a Starfield, but it also borrows a little bit from Starfield. It borrows a little bit from Skyrim, a little bit from uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, right? Where you have a camp and you got these characters in the camp and you get to know these characters and the relationship between you and them. Uh, because you're an alien, you are, you know, uh, Navi and they're human. So, you know, to them you look like an alien. But you got resistance uh, groups of humans who joined the resistance with Jake uh, and 
they're fighting against RDA, which is the uh, Research Development Assistant uh, Administration, I'm sorry, uh, Research Development Administration uh, Company, RDA, Research Development Administration Company, RDA. And you learn about the RDA, you learn about the villain, you learn about so many things within the game and then there's the uh, the crafting you know there's there's so much you can do when it comes to crafting here um, th this is the part that I like about this game is the crafting now the game runs in a 60 FPS frame rate mode and Dolby Vision on it looks fantastic so this is the part I like also is the crafting building your character looting and you know how much I love looting, how much I love that kind of stuff. I'm like Dr. Disrespect. I love looting games, which is probably one of the main reasons why I might try the day after, because I love looting, I love collecting, I love building my character, uh, and you get to do that here. You get to earn your skills uh, and uh, apply these skills. I'm currently level 5. You got various different quests. You got a hunter's guide to tell you what to look for, which uh, of these elements that you collect will give you the best possible ability to craft and trade. Uh, so all of this on top of a huge, huge map, dude. I'm not even scratching a surface. surface. This thing is huge. This huge map where you get to even fly those, I call them uh, Pandora's dragons, right? They call them something else, but I call them Pandora's Dragons. So forgive me for that, Jim Cameron. Uh, <laughs> my apology. And you get to fly using them to fly with them, to to travel across these different regions. You also got a a uh, fast travel. Right, if you don't want to go all the way up from here to there, you can use a fast travel and do that. Or if you don't want to use a fast travel, then just go knock yourself out and enjoy it. There's a time and day cycle. There's uh, uh, the weather changes, uh, and certain parts of the forest are different than the uh, the ones you've been before. There's so much in this game, and on top of all of that, you got the co-op mode, right? You got the co-op. Look at this. Should I invite uh, Phil? <laughs> hey, Phil, you want to join me? Imagine if, if I invite Phil Spencer and he, and he joins me. Uh, imagine that, huh? That needs to be live streamed. Well, first of all, I would need his permission because, you know, he wouldn't want me to live stream, of course, without his permission. And I would never do that without Phil Spencer's uh, permission, obviously. Um, so... You got the co-op, okay? So on top of huge um, sandbox world that you have here to explore, to level up, to to discover, to do different side quests, to get to learn di about these different characters and different clans that even Navis have within themselves. On top of all of that, you have a co-op where somebody else can join you, your friend can join you, and you can... E have even more fun with your friend and 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 here's a good part about the co-op when your friend joins you uh, on a co-op guess what the progress that you have accumulated together that he has accumulated together will carry over when you start playing solo again by yourself so I really like this game Avatar Yes, it, bower, it borrows, it borrows, it borrows, borrows certain elements from uh, previous Ubisoft games, but in a good way, not in a way that it's like copy and paste. It's not like a rip-off of Far Cry. It's not a rip-off of Assassin's Creed or Watch Dogs or Division or Tom Clancy, right? It borrows in a fair way if you know what I mean, fairly. It, it's, it borrows it fairly, that it's, it's in a fair way, not in a copy and paste way. But this is a Avatar game, and it's really beautiful, man. If you love Avatar, if you love video games, if you love crafting and looting, if you love Skyrim, you're going to love this, dude. Uh, the NPCs are everywhere, dude. 
everywhere, dude. You'll find certain things, you'll find certain insects, certain animals that you haven't discovered before, dude. There's so much here that, that you're gonna love. Uh, I mean, I can go on and on about this game, but watch my live stream and you, you'll see even more. Like, if you watch my previous live stream for seven hours, you'll see exactly what this game is all about. Even when you watch my uh, first live stream, that's six hours, you'll get to have an idea about the tutorial and the prologue and why do you have to go through this slow-paced beginning in a game so that way you can be prepared for this journey onto uh, Western Frontier. So I give this game a two thumbs up, man. I give it easily. Easily solid 8 out of 10 and I give it an 8 only because it doesn't have a third person mode if it did have a third person mode and this is just my own you know subjective subjective perspective I would have given it easily a 9 but 8 solid 8 that's a great score uh, I definitely recommend this uh, highly recommend this uh, for people to pick it up you can get it through Ubisoft Plus and only pay 18 bucks a month and play it on your Xbox or PC or your uh, GeForce Now or your uh, Luna, Amazon Luna. So you got many other options on how to play this game. I think you should give it a try. I give it an 8. Currently, I'm giving it an 8. But when I finish the game, when I spend more hours and many, many weeks and months playing this, I might come back and make another video and I might give it a 9. Who knows? I might give it a 9.4. 9.4 out of 10. But currently, I'm, I'm at the moment, as of recording of this video, December 11th, I'm giving it a... December 11, 2023, I'm giving it a solid 8. And that's pretty darn good. So this is, you know, should get you excited. It's a good game. Regardless uh, of what some other reviewers are saying, okay? Uh, you should definitely give this a try. Thank you for watching.